Okay, so yesterday we set up a um, theta node, and as you can see in the background, it is humming along even without staking $15,000 worth of theta. Well, I guess it's now 12 or 13. Um, so today we're going to install a local node, and uh, let's see how that goes. Let's get started. Okay, so what we have here in the, you should see the, the uh, web page that has the instructions. And this goes through the entire um, process of starting a node. So first is this, you basically have to get Go. Go is the language that um, the Ethereum network and Theta is written in. Um, I have not looked at it too much, but what I did here is I copied this code from from here and put it in a in a, a um, Atom file, you know, a text file, because I did want to change home to home two. So we'll see how that is going to go. I'm gonna copy it. And I'm going to paste it right here and see what happens. Uh. There we go. It wanted my password. So it's going along. It's fetching. It's, it's going to have to do a bunch of stuff in order to get this moving. Uh, so what have we done here? Okay. Did I just do one? Let's look at the history. Okay, so it's only done the one. So let's see what happens if I do the rest of the... Of the app get stuff and see if it actually will do it or if I'm going to have to go one by one here. Okay, now that it's got my... It looks like it is... doing a bunch of stuff here. So it may do everything we want. Now eventually what it's got to do it's got to compile everything and I'm also hoping it puts it in the right spot now let's see okay It did not do, okay, let's get this, these last three. That's install JQ, whatever that is. And I just know it needs it because it finished. You can see it, bees, app get installed, BZR. It has basically it has a bunch of dependencies that it is going to do before it could uh, build the. So now it's, it looks like it's getting go. That's the next step. And. And then it's going to get put go where go is supposed to 
go, I guess. All right, so we're here now. We're getting the tar um, of go, and we're putting it in the appropriate location. And did that. Now it's got to um, do this bunch of stuff here, which is basically setting the, um, the environment. So let's do that. All right, so it's set a bunch of paths. Now I wanted it to go to home two, and let's see what happens now when we try to build this thing. Um, well, first we got to get oh, so we're getting the theta ledger. And then we're going to build it. So, this is a simple, um, let, let me, where did I, did it set data home? Go path is home to go. Okay. So go path. So theta home is let's okay, it's gonna put it in the go path. So let's see if this works. Um, this is just a git clone, um, and so it's getting the, oh, I got my headphones on. I'm not even listening to anything. All right, we got the GitHub, the git clone, and let's see what we got here now. We got go. So let's see. The next thing we got to do, this is the build and install. And build and install. Let's do that. Export. Let's, let's, let me do a copy paste here to make sure that it's, I get this right. Copy. Paste. Oh, come on. Here we go. Go. Okay. Now, CD Theta Home. Let's. We can type that in. Make sure it goes to the right place. All right. And then we're going to do a make install. That's going to build it. And, oh, <laughs> there we go. So it's finding all the, it looks like it's finding all the libraries we need. And I think it may be worth it to have a little look at the Go language only because we have we have some of these um, chains, some of these blockchain projects that are using Go. Um, as you, as we've talked about in the past, um, the uh, polka dot uses Rust, and I believe Bitcoin is C++. In fact, there's a gentleman from England who does some some wonderful crypto videos. Um, so, I forget the name of his channel, but, um, 
he did two videos on where Bitcoin, you know, who really created Bitcoin, and one of the the clues, if you will, is the Bitcoin was written in C++, so whoever did it had to be quite knowledgeable in C++. So as you can see, it's building along here. It's finding, it looks like it needs to pull down a bunch of libraries, and like any of these modern languages, um, they have tons of libraries that are determined but, uh, in the build. So in in Java, it might be a Maven. You'd specify that in Maven, and Rust is specified in the cargo. Um, there's another file if you're doing um, Node.js, where you specify the libraries. <clears throat> and uh, Node.js is another good thing to learn because it's sort of you kind of it, it's kind of related to React and um, what is it Angular. I used the first version of Angular and, and it was terrible. I hated it. Um, the new the the modern version of Angular, the new version of Angular, is much much better. So it looks like it is done. So let's see what we got here. Um, oh, it's been, it has been building away here. So let's make test unit. It's the next set of instructions. Um, cannot find module. Let's see. Why is this not working? Uh, da, 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 da. Unknown import path. Okay. Maybe we want to let's see. My guess is I'm in the wrong directory. Um, let's see. Um, I am going to go up here into source and try it again. Okay. Well, this may... Uh, run unit test with the command below.
Clyde Novendor. Okay. So we need to find what the where the what this Glide Novendor is. Um let me just say something. We're in the theta node. I'm going to try this. Um, make sure I'm on the theta node. See if this works even. Um, because if this works, then all right, I didn't get any errors. Config equals dot dot private net. Ah. And we're just going to use the password they specify here. We don't care because this is a private node. So it did work. And it's going. Hmm. Ah, because I have the main net going. But we have seen how you can create, so I'd have to stop that other node in order to get this working. But this is interesting. Now, I do not know why the unit test, what the unit test was looking for that it didn't like, so I'm going to have to investigate that. But uh, as you can see, it's just because we have the, the, uh, this other will node, for lack of a better word, um, having a good time here, run along, validating, doing whatever a guardian node does, um, doing its thing here. It is not happy. Um, so the way to the way to get this to work is we're just going to have to look at the um, at the con configuration. So if we go up here, and you can see node, and there should be, let's check this config.yaml. And that's interesting. It has a different port. Um, oh. So, let's see. That's interesting that config.yaml is looking for port 1200. I wonder if I change it to 1201 um, or is that configured elsewhere? This is signatures and things of that nature. Um, what I have to figure out is where it um, let's 
see. I'm wondering if there's a way to give it um, let me see something there is data here. Snapchat string. Yeah, what we need to do is give it a different a, a different um, port because there is. If you saw the error here when we tried to start it, let's scroll up here. Yeah, this bind. So it's listening to an inbound peer listener and it's trying to do it on this address which is the address that our regular notice but we did I think if I stop this this should work so um, we're gonna move we're gonna be doing more of this and uh, hopefully this has been helpful and show it's n it's relatively easy to install the theta node if you follow the directions as specified and the open question is still why the um, unit test did, did not come up. So I'm going to look into that and see if I can figure that out. But anyway, um, again, hopefully this has been helpful to you. If it has, please give a like and please subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified of, of uh, future videos. And I will speak to you next time.